Okay, so today I want to talk about designing stairs uh, for your concept and schematic models um, in Revit. Uh, but before that, uh, I want to go ahead and let everybody know uh, that access to this model and other um, Revit models and techniques that I'm sharing online and other videos will all be available soon um, uh, for download. I'm still working on uh, quite the exact right way to, to get that out to people. Um, but stay tuned for that. Maybe a Patreon page. Uh, I may put the link um, to something or some more information down below. So anyways, let's get into it. So this is a Revit hack, uh, similar to my other uh, videos I've got on here related to stairs. So the problem with stairs in Revit, uh, the actual prepackaged stair family that Revit comes with is that it's really slow, really hard to learn. It takes a really long time to, to wrap your head around it and to modify and tweak the stairs. Uh, it can be very confusing. So uh, we know in early phase design stuff, we want to do things really quickly. We want to just quickly run the math or quickly, you know, build a real simple model to, to show us what kind of stair that we're going to need, lengths and, and all that kind of thing. Um, so um, Revit stairs are not great for that, uh, doing really quick stuff. So uh, if anybody's new with Revit and they've tried tried messing with stairs, it's, uh, it's harder than it should be. So what I've got here is a model which uh, works really simply. It's not an actual Revit. Uh, stair family because you can't actually make your own Revit stair families. It's a structural framing family, which you'll see um, in here. Uh, and that's just so that it, you know, uh, kind of shows up when, when we're doing uh, framing of, of these buildings. So anyways, um, diving in here, the solution here is, uh, again, a custom custom stair family that uh, you can you can do all kinds of different things with just a very simple and quick, quick tool. So um, down here under structural framing, I'm going to start with stair one. Uh, and when you place this in here, this is actually going to be a object um, object uh, driven uh, place, not a level driven. So it's a plane, you know, based off of this um, face based. Sorry, not level based. So this is face based, meaning it's it's connected to this um, sidewalk down here. Um, so you'll notice, yeah, um, we're we're going to be offset zero from the floor. Now the first thing. Um, to notice with this is um, we have different parameters for landing width and landing length. Um, so if you, if you select it here, you can see I can change real quick the uh, width of the landing um, from four feet, let's say, to eight feet. And there you get an eight foot wide. Uh, and then, you know, same with the length of the landing, you can call this 12 feet, whatever you want to throw in there. It will adjust. So undoing that. You'll see there's a there's an opening for another stair here uh, as well, or we can just close this gap by making the the landing width not as intense. So um, next uh, landing height. So you've got this place here. Um, all you simply need to do is say how high this landing is going to be. Uh, maybe we want it up 10 feet, for example. These are all you know uh, instance parameters, so they're available outside the family. And you'll see if the stair will actually move to where it needs to move um, in order to accommodate that 10 foot high landing. So, you know, automatically you can see this is what it looks like. This is the length at, at 10 foot high, um, you know, and, and that's what that's what it's going to look like. So um, while we have this up here, you can also hide and um, uh, get rid of some of these handrails here um, set, you know, standard 34 inch high handrails. Um, again, we're just we're just doing quick design studies here. Soon to come, I'll have, you know, the one foot extension at the top and, you know, the one foot, you know, give or take with the landing tread. Um, those are soon to come with this model as well. But if we select this and say we have a landing that doesn't have a back railing. So it's shooting just straight, straight out. You know, it'll look something like that. And we can bring this, you know, back to about whatever it was for, five feet. So you kind of have just a clear direct path all the way up and out, okay. Um, you can also get rid of the side railing, uh, depending on what any kind of stair that you need. So I'm turning off both of these, and you know you'll have nothing there, and you can even get rid of the landing altogether. Um, so you can have just basically the stair with the handrail, uh, and that's it. Uh, and on top of that, you can also, you know, the stair and handrail. Uh, the stair on the handrail on the stair, you know, you can also turn. Both of them off and just have something like this, you know, 
and then you can throw the landing back in there and still have no end rails, you know, whatever, whatever's going to float your boat the fastest there. Okay, so let's bring back the railings here. Um, basically want almost all of them. All of these under construction over here under the under your properties. Yeah, so I want this. So uh, if we want to stack railings, you'll end up having something like this where you know um, there's an opening up at the one end of the of the landing. Um, and you know, once you kind of stack them all up, they will look something like this. Um, you know, like your standard um, in, a, in your standard, you know, fire escape uh, for a building internally. Um, just really fast, you know, copy paste. Um, and I can show you an example of how that would work here. Uh, we would just copy this over. You know, we would rotate here. And instead of setting the height of this, if you don't remember, you know, you'll, you can offset at the landing height 10 feet. You can go in here and set this offset from your offset from host at 10 feet, or it's faster just to select the top of that landing and then the bottom of this stringer here. And you'll see when you click on this, it automatically updates that 10 feet. That way you can kind of just focus on aligning things. Um, we're going to align that to that just real, real fast kind of stuff here. And we end up having, uh, you know, a stair with a landing to make this landing whatever it needs to be. Um, but that's how you create the the stacking of these. Um, and then when you get into some some more kind of custom stairs, um, you know, because this this project um, kind of has a lot of uh, unique stair things going on here. But if you're doing a super custom stair, um, you know, all of these stairs can can be made. Um, one of the one of the key things on this stair is in order to change the run length and you know the rise and uh, the width uh, of the tread, those all exist as type parameters in here. So you have to create a new type of stair, but you can you can change the the run of the stair, the rise of the stair, you know, and um, width and the tread and the, the length of the tread. You can do all of that here, um, and I'll show you. I can I already have some of these different ones made here. Um, you can just change this to that uh, that type of tread. Uh, so this is one where the, the tread is extended and, and therefore the stair is a lot longer. Uh, the railings all still work the same. Um, I don't know if I change this again to a different kind. There's a lot of there's a lot of processing Revit has to do in the in the background while doing this, but this is where if you have just two inches, um, you know, pretty pretty handy. Um, and so, you know, all that stuff can be, can be saved as different types of, of stairs. And then when you stack them up, you can see, this is an example of different types of stair families, uh, all with just one railing on one side can be achieved. This is the opposite where the railing is just all on the outside, you know, and then railings on all sides. And then this one, which is just kind of this wacky, you know, mixture of a bunch of different stairs, any, any type of street straight uh, stair this is going to be able to help you out and uh, you can work real quick uh, to come up with different design concepts with them all right we'll see you in the next one